What I want to cover here is this folder pane. Also, I call it the navigation pane. Well, technically, down below it's the navigation because you can go from one item, like the mail folder, with all the messages in that mail folder that's in the inbox as a draft, a sent item, and so on, to the calendar that when you click on it, up here in the folder pane, I've got one folder. In other words, one calendar. I can create additional calendars when I do. It'll be its own folder. So I can have my business calendar, my personal calendar, two separate folders, two separate ones that I can select that will bring up the calendar over to the right. And then I've got the contacts. When I select that, you'll get the default contacts folder, but I created an additional one for my personal contacts, which I'll show you how to do when we work on contacts. And then you've got your tasks. And then for additional items, click on the more button, the three dots, and you can look at shortcuts, folders, notes, and, well, navigation options, which we'll go over in just a minute. Let me click off and go back to the mail folder. And I want to cover the options that you have with this folder pane. One option is, is that you can minimize it by clicking on that little arrow. When you do that, you get more space horizontally. And over here, it doesn't list everything or all the folders within that folder pane. I mean, we had a lot more than what you see here. So what is it showing? It's showing what's in the favorites. So when I want to click on it to expand it, it expands temporarily because you get the push pin and that's not pushed in so it's not going to stay up that when I click off of it it minimizes itself again so click on it to open it up and you can see it's just showing these three here which if you want to customize that let's go ahead and push it in so it can stay up and if I want to add something else to the favorites you can just come down below select like drafts click and drag it and put it up here and when it's up there, you can click and drag and move it around to reorganize your favorites. Okay, it's kind of ghosting on me. Uh, let's go ahead and move that up. There you go. Okay, that works. And so that's one way that you can add to your favorites. And if you want to remove like the drafts from the favorites or any other folder, right-click on it and go down to remove from favorites. And it disappears, well, from your favorites, but not from the actual data file itself. As you can see, it's right there. Now, if you don't like the favorites because, well, all of your folders here in the mail folder are your favorites, then you can collapse it. And if you're like, no, that still bugs me. I don't want to see the favorites at all. All righty, let's kick it up. Let's come up here, click on the View tab, go to the Layout group, and then click on Folder Pane, and let's uncheck Favorites, and it's gone. Let me go ahead and go back and see what other options we get with the folder pane. You can have it minimized, which is back to where we were when I minimized it by clicking on that little arrow. So I can click on it and then pin it. And then we can come back up here, click on it, and actually turn it off. And when you do that, it's like, oh my goodness, how do I navigate to the other folders like the calendar, the contacts? Oopsie doodle. Well, let's go ahead and come back up here and click on it and say that we do want to, well, let's do it normal and bring it back up pinned in. And I do want to see my favorites. I like my favorites. So let's click on Folder Pane and check Favorites. And then I want to expand that. And then come back up here, click on Folder Pane. And let's take a look at the options here. So the Navigation Pane options, when you click on it, it opens up the same window that, let me close out, if you clicked on the More button, right there, Navigation Options, there you go. Same window. Different place to open it up. Depends on what neck of the woods you're in. If you're on the View tab and you're up here, then go ahead and just pop it open. If you're not on the View tab and you don't want to take those extra clicks, well, it's right there. Just click on it and go to Navigation Options. So first of all, the maximum number of visible items. It's talking about the items in the Navigation pane down below, not the Folder pane up above. So that's more technically accurate. Folder pane, Navigation pane. So you can expand that or minimize that and go down to three and click okie dokie and then it disappears. So to be able to see the tasks, I have to click on it and there's the tasks. No, that's not doing it for me. Let me click on navigation options again and let's go back up to four. Now the compact navigation is an icon mode that if I uncheck that and click OK, it's going to go from icons to huge letters. So it's spelled out for you. This is the mail folder. That's the calendar. And you can't miss it because you got so much space to click on it as opposed to those teeny tiny little icons. And then you can click on the more here and go to navigation options. And well, we can go back to compact so we can get a little bit more space. And you can display it in this order. Well, there's the mail first. If you want calendar first, select it and move it up and click OK. So it goes back to the icons. 
but instead of the mail folder being first, I now have the calendar. If that's the most important thing in your daily activities that you want an order of operation, have that there. But then again, you have to move all the way over here to click on it, so it may be easier to have the calendar over to the right hand side or click on it. Navigation options, my final demonstration is to go ahead and let's go up to, ah, I'm just going to move that up. Total is seven, click OK. And it can't show it because, let me hover over the split bar between the folder pane and the main view and click and drag and then it starts popping open. So without expanding that, I wouldn't be able to see the rest. But in any case, you can click on it, navigation options. And if you made a lot of changes and you're like, okay, what was it before I did all these changes? Click reset and it goes back to the way it was. And then you can go ahead and click OK and we're good. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.